So I've recently started mining cryptocurrencies. I'm so pleased with the initial results that I just want more. So firstly, this is not a cryptocurrency tutorial or a mining tutorial. And this is definitely not a cryptocurrency channel. But I just wanted to share a bit of my experience with cryptocurrency mining over the last few days. For background, I am in South Africa and we do tend to fall into a bit of a trap where we love to complain about things, uh, high electricity prices, high prices of computer equipment. So it never really seemed like cryptocurrency mining was a viable thing over here, or well, not at least attainable to the average person. But I started mining on a little gaming laptop and I left it running for the better part of like 17 days, 16, 17 days. And I made like just over $50, which in my mind isn't that bad. So I decided I wanted to try, put a little bit more effort into it check it out a bit more. I found a, a pretty cheap graphics card, which you need to mine cryptocurrency. And I borrowed an old computer from my mom's house. And I'm gonna see if I can actually do a little bit more mining with that alongside the laptop that I'm currently using. I'd like to free the laptop up so that I can actually use it for other stuff. But mostly I just wanna have some fun with it and, and learn and see what happens. So this is the computer that I want to use for mining. It was originally built for like light gaming and some video editing and just like general work kind of stuff. In here, we have a graphics card and the graphics card is what you need to mine cryptocurrencies. But this particular one is not great for the job. So I picked up a slightly older graphics card than what is currently used for cryptocurrency mining. But it should do the job pretty well. It seems to be in good condition. I got it for a really good price. And you know what, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. For starters though, this thing is really dusty. So I'm gonna spend some time cleaning it out. And then let's see what it can do. Alrighty, the new system is in place. I haven't switched it on yet. I was hoping to do a live demo of that. Um, but here is the current laptop that I've been mining on. This is the software that we're running. For anyone that's interested, I'm using Phoenix Miner to mine Ethereum at the moment. The fans are going absolutely nuts. This is actually a, a custom cooling solution that I had made specifically for the laptop. It's really just lifting it up, making sure the cool air gets in underneath. I'm gonna go over here and stop this so that we can uh, focus on the new addition. I've hooked everything up. I've got it plugged into a uh, power meter there so we can see how much power it actually draws. Let's see if it fires up or if it blows up. It's running. Fans are buzzing rather angrily. We have lights on the keyboard. Oh boy. It seems we have an issue. Let's diagnose that and I'll get back to you. back 
we are also successfully mining cryptocurrency. I had to do quite a bit of setup on this guy last night. Getting the screen to work actually wasn't the hardest part of it all. That was fairly straightforward. But I had to set up a flash drive with a new operating system and install the software for this little Wi-Fi dongle because I don't have a wired connection in here. But everything worked out in the end and I left it running overnight. It ran quite stable. I spent a bit of time following some tutorials online trying to get it at peak performance and at the moment I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with the numbers. So like I said, this video isn't a tutorial on how to mine cryptocurrency, but I think it's worth stating just what I define as success with these numbers. Uh, I'm quite happy with what we're getting. At the moment, I'm probably making around $34, $35 a month, which isn't bad considering I paid like $100 for that card. So I'm very chuffed. I get to pay the thing off in like three months and then maybe put that money back into something else. And all in all, I just really had fun with it, which was the main thing for me. Now there's one point that I'd really like to make with all of this, and that's to not always believe the naysayers. If there's something that you want to do and there's even a small part of you that believes you're better off just giving it a shot yourself and experiencing the ups and downs, whatever they may be. Just give it a shot. Maybe it all works out. 